Mr. Chairperson, Director General of the WTO, fellow ministers, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, on behalf of the government of Nepal and on my own, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the government of Kazakhstan and the WTO Secretariat for organizing this conference. Mr. Chair, COVID pandemic has made devastating effects worldwide. Hundreds and thousands of people lost their lives and millions of became jobless and fell into a risk of extreme poverty. LDCs and LLDCs are the hardest hit by the pandemic. Nepal is no exception in this regard. However, COVID vaccine has helped to reduce the infection and fatality rates significantly, leading to a new normal in the world economies. In line with world economies, Nepal's economy has also regained the momentum. However, the economy still finds it hard to reposition itself to pre-pandemic level, mainly due to the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine and its impact on price hike of the petroleum products. The key challenges of the economy remain widening trade deficit, depleting foreign currency reserve, and deteriorating industrial development. Mr. Chairperson, although the establishment of WTO avails a number of opportunities, many LDCs and LLDCs, including Nepal, have not been able to reap those opportunities in so many fronts. The challenges of these economies mainly supply-side constraints, weak productive capacity, insufficient trade infrastructure, and non-tariff barriers have constrained in getting benefits from the multilateral trading system. It is therefore expected that this conference will give high priority in addressing those challenges. I am happy to note that Nepal is graduating from LDCs to developing countries category in 2026. For smooth and irreversible graduation, Nepal strongly emphasizes the urgent need of continuation of all international support measures, particularly duty-free, quota-free market access, special and differential treatments preferential rules of origin, service waiver, aid for trade, and flexibilities in the implementation of the multilateral trade rules and commitments. In addition, the bilateral and multilateral development partners, including the WTO, should allocate additional resources to meet SDG target and implement Doha Plan of Action, as well as Biana Program of Action. It's well known that medium, small, and micro enterprises are backbone of the economies in providing jobs, reducing poverty, and contributing to inclusive development. However, they have been least benefited from the international trade regime. Development partners, therefore, need to give high priorities in capacity development and technology transfer to MSMEs of LDCs. Mr. Chairperson, most of the LDCs, including Nepal, are more vulnerable to the negative impacts of the global warming and climate change. Developed economies, therefore, need to show their strong faith to comply with the international commitments on climate change, most significantly on reducing the emission of greenhouse gases and increasing their financial and technical support, promoting climate resilient economy. Mr. Chairperson, in order to address the high transit and transportation cost of the LLDCs, strong commitments of the international communities are essential so that they will be able to enjoy uninterrupted unconditional and a smooth transit rights. Technological advancement of the LDCs, such as rapid use of digital technology and e-commerce, 
can fasten their integrating process into the global value chain, easing the constraint of the landlockedness. Nepal is in need of cooperation in transferring technologies, building ICT infrastructures, and developing human resources to reduce the digital divide. In recent years, the multilateral trading system has been undermined by growing protectionism, bilateralism, regionalism, and trade frictions between member states. Furthermore, the system has been weakened by the number of other constraints such as ineffective implementation of the WTO's decisions, including Doha Development Agenda and a delay in nomination of the members of the dispute settlement body. Therefore, Nepal expresses its concerns on effectively adhering to the principles of fair, rule-based, equitable and a transparent multilateral trading system. Last but not least, Nepal firmly re-emphasizes that LDCs, LLDCs and small economies can largely benefit from multilateral trading system only when WTO can effectively play its roles. Therefore, Nepal underlines the critical need for WTO reform to achieve shared prosperity and raise living standards of the people. Thank you.